I was happy and enjoying my life when I began to gradually have neurological symptoms. I was trapped not only by my symptoms, but also by physicians who lacked any knowledge as to how to provide care. I soon found myself in the hidden world of the medically unexplained. Here, physicians began to cross-examine me in my uneventful childhood, and I realized I was hostage to a diagnostic label I didn't even know existed. I began to feel that somehow it was my fault my doctors were faced with medical uncertainty. I felt so alone in this hidden world, but it was here that I discovered so many others, all wanting their lives back, just like me. Neurological disorder refers to a range of symptoms and problems that we commonly see in pathology. Uh, they include symptoms such as paralysis, weakness, movement disorder, accounts, sensory disturbance, uh, and, and many others, which are genuine. Uh, those yeah. experiences them are uh, typically distressed and often physically disabled by them. I've been symptomatic ever since about 2006. I was a full-time actor, uh, singer, since my illness. <laughs> what haven't I lost? That's the question. I want to teach my grandkids how to ski. Once I've taught my grandkids how to ski, I've taught everybody in my family how to ski. And all of a sudden, I'm in the chair lift line, getting ready to get in, and my nephew's on the side of me, and all of a sudden I just collapse like that. And as time went on, um, I noticed my left side was getting dramatically weaker, and I, my left leg would give out on me. I just kept on fighting through it, and fighting through it, and kept on dealing with it. And things kind of progressed by, and kept on trying to provide for the family and live life every day. I went through a period of time in what I call the black hole, where you get sucked in because your body can't do anything. Your mind is fighting the pain because it's so extreme. And then all of a sudden, one morning, I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't roll out of bed. I couldn't move my legs. And no one believed me. Yeah, even. I've been treated pretty horribly by uh, some, some doctors. FND is laced with ill-conceived assumptions and a history of theories, most of which are lacking any science-based evidence. This confusion creates harmful biases toward patients doctor came in he said I'm sorry but what you have doesn't exist so I'm not treating what doesn't exist so you can pick up differences in people say with functional weakness compared to people with um, weakness due to stroke or pretending to have weakness so um, you can see how the, the pattern of blood flow for example which reflects the activity of nerve cells is different and you can see through that, that that people with, say, functional weakness are really experiencing what they say they're experiencing. They're, they're, they feel that, that they are not able to move. And it's not that they look the same as somebody who's pretending not to be able to move. There's some fundamental differences in the way the brain is all wired together. I just wanted to be an Olympic athlete. The primary purpose of medical services is to lessen the impact illness has on those who are suffering. So why are functional neurological disorder patients left to suffer alone in silence? As for me, with the help of the new doctor, my symptoms became manageable. But only after I was diagnosed and began treatment for an autoimmune-related neurovascular disorder. <laughs>